Good day everyone. So in this video, we'll give an example of a feeder and a silo. So stay tuned for more information. Feeders are used to measure the flow of material to meet the special flow rate of the crushing system. One type of feeder is an apron feeder. An apron feeder, which also known as a pan feeder, is a mechanical type of feeder used for transferring or feeding materials to a crusher in uniform rate. Apron feeders are popular material for a variety of applications that includes aggregates, coal and other mining ore, and recycled materials. It is widely used in mining, dressing plant, chemical industry, cement industry, building materials, transportation, and other machineries. Apron feeder pans are mostly made of manganese, which is a material that is used with an alloy of steel. This type of material is good for apron feeder because it is great for heavy weight applications, great for high impact applications, and long lasting. Apron feeder was composed of the following the head shaft, the tail idler, chain, carry rollers, return rollers, flights or pans, impact rail, mainframe, and drive. So if you want to check the meaning of these parts, you can check in the description below. So we have also an example of silo. But first, what is a silo? So a silo is a pit structure used to store bulk materials like cement, carbon block, wood chips, and others in large industries. One example of silo is a bunker. Bunker silos are trenches, usually with concrete wall, that are filled and packed with tractors and loaders. The field trench is covered with a plastic tarp to make it airtight. Bunker silo can hold large capacity, offers faster unloading rates, and expensive and well suited to very large operations. Bunker silos are commonly used in agriculture to store grain or fermented feed known as silage. Asphalt flooring is a good choice for bunk, trench, or pile of silo floors for it is unaffected by silage acids and eliminates the risk of water seeping through a seam and undermining the floor. Lining the inside of the bunker walls with plastic prior to filling prevents water from seeping in at the edges. This process can be accomplished by placing a small amount of old silage on the bottom of the plast at floor level. Bunker silos and drive over piles should be filled using the progressive wedge technique to minimize the surface exposed to air and to maximize the packing efficiency. And take note that in calculating the silo size, you must first determine the amount of dry matter that will be fed each day from the bunker. So I hope that you have learned something in this short video. Till next time, God bless.